Welcome to your Health Oasis, your complete healthcare guide. Calcium is one of the vital nutrients all living organisms need, including humans. It is the most abundantly found mineral in the body. Maintenance of blood calcium level is necessary because calcium is an important inorganic iron for many physiological functions, such as bone and teeth formation. 99% of body's calcium is in bones and teeth. Calcium plays an important role in strengthening the teeth and bones, which then contribute in maintaining our overall health. Calcium ions are crucial in excitation and contractions of the heart muscles. Increased calcium concentration in platelets help to activate various proteins that are essential for blood clotting. Calcium ions appear to participate in the regulation of several aspects of cell division. In neurons, calcium is the ultimate multitasker. It helps propagate electrical signals down the axons. Normal range for blood calcium level is 8.5 to 10.5 mg per dl. Hypocalcemia is decreased calcium levels in the blood which is our topic for today. It happens when the calcium level is less than the desired range. Levels less than 7 mg per dl is often considered as emergency because of a potential risk of life-threatening complications. Hypercalcemia is a condition in which the calcium level in your blood is above normal. Let us now see the daily calcium requirement as per age. The age group 1 to 3 requires up to 500 mg calcium a day. Age group 4 to 8 requires up to 800 mg of calcium and the age group 9 to 18 years requires up to 1300 mg of calcium a day. Adults of up to 19 to 50 years require a total of 1000 mg calcium daily. The age group of above 51 years require up to 1,200 mg and pregnant and lactating mothers require up to 1,300 mg calcium daily. Now let us take a quick look upon the regulation of blood calcium levels. Calcium metabolism is regulated mainly by three hormones. First and the foremost one is parathormone also called PTH. Parathormone is a protein hormone secreted by parathyroid gland and its main function is to increase the blood calcium levels by mobilizing calcium from bones. Calcitrol is the activated form of vitamin D. Its main action is to increase the blood calcium levels by increasing the calcium absorption from small intestine. Calcitonin is a protein hormone. It lowers the blood calcium levels by decreasing the bone resorption. Having known the regulation of blood calcium levels, now let us know about the major causes of calcium deficiency. Decreased levels of parathyroid hormone in blood that could be due to surgical removal of parathyroid or thyroid glands or deficiency of receptors for parathormone in the target cells is one of the primary cause of calcium deficiency. Vitamin D is very essential for calcium absorption from the gut. Again, parathyroid hormone is essential in the activation of vitamin D. Kidney failure causes calcium deficiency due to decreased renal production of vitamin D. Magnesium is required for the production and release of parathyroid hormone. So decreased magnesium levels in blood leads to insufficient parathyroid hormone, which ultimately leads to low blood calcium levels. Last but not the least, the most common cause of calcium deficiency is not getting enough calcium in your diet. Let us now look into the signs and symptoms of calcium deficiency. Carpopedal spasm. It is the violent and painful muscular contraction in hands and feet that occurs due to calcium deficiency. During the spasm, the hand shows a peculiar attitude with flexion at wrist joint, adduction of the thumb, 
flexion at metacarpophalangeal joint and extension of interphalangeal joints. This picture depicts Trousseau's sign that is peculiarly seen in calcium deficiency. Low levels of calcium in the body can cause our bones to weaken, leaving them prone to easy fractures and breaking. When our body experiences calcium deficiency, it starts to pull calcium from the teeth as well. That results in tooth decay and gum diseases. Another key symptom of calcium deficiency is tingling and numbness, especially in the hands and feet. Every nerve cell in your body needs calcium. When calcium drops too low, nerve cells struggle to register sensations and send off signals. The hallmark symptoms of calcium deficiency are muscle cramps and spasms. Calcium helps muscles contract and relax. Muscles lacking calcium can no longer maintain their normal tone, which then leads to aches, cramps, and muscle weakness. Osteopenia or brittle bone is considered as a sign of calcium deficiency. Osteopenia is a milder form of osteoporosis. It can lead to extreme bone weakness and long-standing joint pains. Chronic low calcium levels often result in brittle nails and dry skin. Calcium plays a key role in maintaining the structure and hardness of nails and keeps the nail bed tissues healthy. Similarly, calcium is also found on the outer layers of skin where it plays a major role in repair and self-replenishing. Calcium helps with the secretion of hormones and certain enzymes such as biotin that helps with hair growth. Calcium deficiency can lead to hairs becoming brittle, which then leads to excessive hair loss. Our heart is highly dependent on calcium to help with its regular contractions. Lack of calcium in the body can upset these signals and cause an abnormal heartbeat. Depression, anxiety and other mood disorders stem from the dysfunction in the central nervous system as well. As we know, Calcium helps in transmitting messages in nerves. Symptoms of dysfunction of the nervous system due to low levels of calcium can manifest in the form of depression, anxiety, increased irritability and other mood-related disorders. Now let us discuss about the top 10 rich and easily available dietary sources of calcium. Milk is one of the best and most widely available sources of calcium. One cup of about 200 ml of milk gives you approximately 300 to 325 milligrams of calcium. Low fat milk has a higher concentration of calcium content by weight than whole milk. Fishes, especially sardines and salmons, are loaded with calcium. Sardines are a great source of iron and calcium. 100 grams of sardine fish can provide you with up to 380 to 400 milligrams of calcium. Yogurt is an excellent source of calcium. They are also rich in probiotics, a type of beneficial bacteria that can promote immune function and enhance nutrient absorption. 100 gram of yogurt can provide you with about 110 milligrams of calcium. Among all nuts, almonds are the highest in calcium. 100 grams of almonds contain about 260 to 270 milligrams of calcium. Green leafy vegetables are incredibly healthy and many of them are high in calcium, including spinach, broccoli, etc. Most cheeses are excellent sources of calcium. Parmesan cheese has the most. However, one thing to be kept in mind is that full fat cheese can be high in saturated fats and calories, which some people may need to limit. Among the top fruits high in calcium, orange is one you simply cannot miss out on. Apart from giving you a vitamin C boost, 
Oranges have a quite generous amount of calcium in them. Berries, including strawberries and blackberries, are among the top calcium-rich fruits you can eat. Chia seeds are tiny nutritional powerhouses of calcium and numerous other nutrients. 100 grams of chia seeds contain about 630 milligrams of calcium. Let's make it simpler. Three tablespoons of chia seeds will have more calcium than one glass of milk. Sesame seeds are a good source of calcium. 100 grams of sesame seeds can give you about 975 milligrams of calcium. Beans and lentils are high in fiber, proteins and micronutrients and also have a good amount of calcium. Beans and lentils could be easily added to your daily diet to cover your calcium requirement. Kindly consider to like, share and subscribe the channel if this information was useful to you. If you need to know more about any other topics, please mention in the comments below. Thank you for watching.